Hey friends, Donovan Bankhead here with a gorgeous trumpet from our friends over at Lotus. Thought I'd show this to you today. You may have seen some of the videos that I've done with other Lotus trumpets. Uh, I've got one for the Universal Max. I've got one up for the Universal with a 130 millimeter bell. I even have one with a um, uh, the Silver Flare, which I happen to have in stock right now again. Uh, but this is the Universal with the 137 millimeter bell. So <clears throat> what's the difference between all these different universal models? Three universal models, primarily. One, the smallest has a 130 millimeter bell. So that's, you know, larger than like a Bach or a Yamaha bell, but like not necessarily like overly large. This is, is sort of like the standard universal one at, and it has a 137 millimeter bell. And then universal max has a 140 millimeter bell. So, in this case, this they basically have essentially all the same uh, materials and design and everything. It's just the size of the bell. What difference does that make? Essentially, the way I would think about it is if you think about your sound, you know, maybe our sound with like a normal Bach bell is like this, and then with Universal, our sound is like that, and then with the, with the Universal 130 millimeter, the 137 millimeter is like that, and then the Max is like that. So it's just like the breadth and broadness of your sound primarily is what's bigger. Also think that the, the larger that bell, it seems like it can take more energy from the player before it starts to just like get overloaded and like gets that just harshness. Yeah, you know, it's great, especially when playing lead commercial trumpet to have like some zing in it, but you can overblow it where it just starts to get kind of blatty and splatty. I feel like these bells can kind of take more that way. So a broader bell, bigger, broader sound, but then also it can take more energy from the player before it starts to get overloaded. Does that make sense? All right, so uh, I'm gonna go through just a couple of specs here. Just, and again, same, if you've seen the other Universal Max video or the Universal videos, then you've, you've essentially seen this one. Because uh, uh, the main difference is just the size of the bell. 137 millimeter, millimeter bell, uh, polished inside of the bell. Phosphor bronze bell flare. And then we have yellow brass on the tail. Um, and lead pipe is yellow brass. Nickel silver trim, phosphor bronze receiver. This has the yellow brass slide in it. And then I also have the optional nickel silver slide. Nickel sl silver will just give you a little bit more zing. A little more stability in the upper register and just a little more zing to the notes. Um, currently has the heavy weighted third, third valve cap on, but if you'd like for them to be standard weight, it includes this. And again, their design's pretty clever. The caps are all the same thickness. It's just they're, some are like kind of filled in and the standard weight ones are hollow. So it's pretty clever. That way you get a look that's symmetrical. Uh, and yeah, so yellow brass. I'll just throw in a mouthpiece here. Play it a little bit. and then uh, commercial mouthpiece. Yeah, insanely loud. Um, and if I swap the tuning slide, so I'll take out the, the uh, yellow brass tuning slide put in the nickel silver slide. Yeah. 
just even more more of that zing. I'm probably overblowing as much as volume and zinging as I'm getting with that. Yeah, just sounds great. So if you're playing like a, a, a lead in a big band, you're playing uh, maybe in like a, a you know a, a, a funk horn band or a rock horn band. This is going to give you a lot of sound. It's going to give you that warmth when you pull off, but with this tuning slide, it's going to just give you that that, that real sizzly, just whoo! Yeah, that's impressive. Just super nice, lots of brilliance and zing there. That's a really good combo. So if you need a, like a, a, a one horn that does it all, especially like a commercial lead horn type killer, this, this may be your guy right here. Great sound and lots of it. If you decide you want one of these, uh, you can go to erniewilliamson.com and check them out there. Hopefully I'll have, by the time you watch this, I'll have the website up and running. And uh, you're always welcome to email me directly, Donovan, D-O-N-O-V-A-N, at ErnieWilliamson.com. All right, thanks for watching.